How do you sum up the greatest thing in your life? The all-American you know? boy. He, I mean, from the blonde hair to the blue eyes, I mean, the kid, he loved to fish, he loved to dive, he loved to be on the boat. New at 11, the parents of Austin Stefano speak out. This Sunday marks one year since Austin and his friend Perry Cohen disappeared at sea. The story galvanized community sympathy, a massive search effort, and now changes to improve boater safety. I went to Jupiter Inlet to talk to Austin's parents today. Blue Stefanos and Carly Black walk along the Jupiter Inlet, where their son Austin and his friend Perry Cohen headed out fishing last July 24th, never to be seen again. First thing you uh, think about in the morning, you know, when you lay your head down, it's the last thing you think about, and uh, I don't know if that'll ever change. Even though, I mean, he was only 14, I feel like we grew up together. We were young when we had him, and he's been a very huge part of our lives for a very long time, and that's something that you don't ever forget. Grief has no end for a parent who loses a child, but Blue and Carly can also smile when they see this plaque and flowers on the inlet pier. Their love and pride is boundless, too. How do you sum up the greatest thing in your life? The all-American you know? boy. He, I mean, from the blonde hair to the blue eyes, I mean, the kid, he loved to fish, he loved to dive, he loved to be on the boat. Austin struggled at times in school because he was dyslexic. The water, the outdoors were his world and joy. It's a peaceful thing to, to be out here and know that I'm close to him because this is the last time he was, was ever seen was going out this inlet. A community came together in the days and weeks after Austin and Perry disappeared, searching, praying, embracing their families. We owe it to each other. We owe it to Austin. We owe it to the community to, uh, to do something you know, with this, you know. And so they have by starting the AustinBlueFoundation.org. Their work prompted state lawmakers to offer boating registration discounts to boaters who buy EPIRBs, location beacons, for their vessels. And the foundation has helped 300 children complete boating safety classes. It's all very important, and it's all coming from this love we have for our child, that he's no longer here. And now he's smiling down on us, and he's proud of us. Austin's motto, Carly says, was never, never give up. For two parents, that is the inspiration that keeps them going, one painful, determined, loving step at a time. I'll always call him my angel baby. And now he really is an angel. He's my angel, and he's going to protect us and look over us and keep us safe. A courageous mom and dad pressing ahead out of love for their son and inspired by him. And if you'd like to learn more about the Austin Blue Foundation, their effort that they're so focused upon to help improve boater safety for the wider community, you can go to AustinBlueFoundation.org. And as it says, dedicated to, among other things, raising awareness and improving boater safety, all in the name and out of love for their son.